Hey guys, Brock Outdoors here today with another video. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a small compact fire pit out of a... This was a Milo tin from Costco because it's that big, but you can make them out of a, a coffee tin or you just need a really a big tin like this. It doesn't have to be quite this big, but you just need a big tin. And I'm going to show you how to use... You can either use a drill or um, common tools. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so the tools and things you're going to need is obviously the can, like I said before. Um, I've got screwdrivers. i got a little Phillips head and a big Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. The flathead is just to pop off the lid. Now that one can go over there because we don't need that anymore. Um, I've got a hammer also f uh, to help push these through the metal because this is the quicker, this is like an easy way without using a drill. Um, so what you want to do is you want to poke three holes in the bottom. I don't know, you can't really see that. So sort of like one, two, three, like that. And I'll do that now and I'll show you what I mean. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've just poked three small holes and that's to let the air in through the bottom. And uh, cause you, you don't need many because we're gonna do a few around the outside. I'll do, and I'll do that now and show you what I mean when we get back. Okay guys, so I've done one row and I've just, put them about a probably about an inch apart all the way around and now I'm gonna do the same thing on here but in between these holes here I'm gonna put one every in every space okay guys so I've done that as well staggered the holes around the outside and that's just to let the air in so that the fire doesn't die like that and the next thing that we're gonna do is is put some you want to get some big logs so the air can get in through the bottom and put them side by side so like one and then two side by side so that can stand on so that the air can get in there without it touching the ground if you know what I mean so it's there's a little bit of air under there and that's what it looks like from inside you can see all the holes in that um, but yeah so you get logs and stick them on there so the air can get underneath and that keeps your um, fire going. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And then just put sticks in there and light her up. And you may have to blow through the holes because uh, the, the fire may not start straight away. But other than that, you should be good. Thanks for watching. And uh, I, if you make one, post a picture in the comments so I can see it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video.